For my last video y'all watched, uh, I installed this box stock 196 on my Mega Moto. And if y'all read the title, y'all know what happened. But uh, basically, it blew up. So in my last video, if you guys watched that, I uh, I put it on the bike. Uh, it smoked, so I had to get some rings. So I put the rings in. Basically, when I put the rings in, you have to take the rod out. And uh, I didn't torque the rod down. So basically what happened is the rod loosened up on me. Well, I didn't know the rod loosened up on me. But uh, first thing that happened is, is the cam jump time. So it advanced timing itself. Uh, I was just going down the road. Had it maxed out probably about 6,000 RPM. And all of a sudden it just bogged down on me. And I couldn't get it to open back up. So... And there's smoke coming out of here and out of here. So I thought I just had a little problem. I, I'm like, all right, I'll take it apart. But I said, before I did that, I wanted to, you know, do the valve. So I did the valves and I started to back up and I heard a real bad knocking. So basically what happened is the rod loosened up on me and that ruined the motor. So I'm gonna pop this side cover off and I'll show you guys the damage and why you should always torque your rod. All right, I got all the bolts removed on the rod cap here. And that is the damage now you might say that it don't look too bad but uh yeah my fingernail is getting caught in many places and i don't know if you could y'all could see in there but uh the crank is the same way that's supposed to be one smooth surface kind of like this notice how my fingernail doesn't get caught on here And the uh, top of the rod looks just the same. Like I said, um, as I was going down the road, I had it turning real high RPM. And basically, the, the uh, cam advanced timing. And, uh, well, it started to run all bad. It didn't want to open up fully. It was like sluggish. So, I adjusted the valves thinking it might have been the valves. Well, it wasn't the valves. <clears throat> So I was just going to ride it, see if it worked itself out. I didn't know maybe if I had oil up in here or something. Because it wasn't smoking out of here. It was smoking out of here. Which could be a head gasket, but the head gasket was fine. But uh, I adjusted the valves and got it running. And, uh, well, I started up and heard a big knock. So I tore everything down, had the head off, had everything off. And uh, I was moving it back and forth, you know. And I noticed that this was moving. And it was making a knocking sound, but the piston wasn't moving. So I'm like, either it's the wrist pin or the uh, or the rod bearing or the cap. So I popped it off and lo and behold, this is what I found. And then the top, the actual rod looks like that and the crank is starting to look like that. So this is no good to run like it is. It's just going to blow itself up. Or it's going to have a bad knock. And uh, everything's fine on this motor except including the head, the block, all that stuff. But the crank and rod is bad. Now, I could buy a new crank and rod. But uh, not only is it as expensive as to get a new motor, but it's also very, it's out of stock. I looked on the box stock project. I looked on OMB Warehouse. I've looked several places and I cannot find a crank and a rod that's in stock. So I might look on eBay, see if I can get them at a good deal. But as of, as of now, this motor's done. Uh, that's the second motor I've blew up in less than a month. The other one's right down there. This one's off the chopper, but that other one's down there. Now I could rebuild that one. All it needs is a set of rings. So I might do that. It's like a, I don't know, a couple dollar fix. And I got to get throttle rods and a spring. And uh, put that, I'm just going to put that carburetor on that one with this air box. Because uh, I ride in wet condition. And the uh, air filter I had an adjustment just wasn't working right. So yeah, that's a little short update video on what happened. I blew it up. You know, you'll have that. So yeah. Let me know what y'all think i should do should i rebuild this one or should i rebuild that one i'm leaning on that one because uh this one just did not want to do good in the trails or anywhere unless it was wide open this cam it's got it's a 206 cam i don't know if that's stock or not but uh, what i was noticing is that it only wanted to be held wide open it kind of had a wide uh, power band it's a low RP rpm it had no get up and go except for when you get on it and then it goes so and that motor is a completely stock it just had an exhaust on it so that motor was completely stock 
and uh, it ran good. It ran good until it started smoking. So I may just end up ordering a gasket kit and uh, rings and uh, send it on its way. Now, I don't think that this uh, flywheel in here will fit because uh, this is a billet. Or not a billet. This is a Hemi motor. It's a non-Hemi. But I don't know. Maybe the uh, Predator 212 Hemi has the same taper as this. I don't have to look because this is a 196 taper. I don't think that's the same. So I got a bit of flywheel, but it's for a Hemi or a non-Hemi, which is that. So I don't know. But yeah, there's an unfortunate event. Um, doesn't matter how much you think you know about torque. Maybe you do are really good. I thought I could get fine. It was only nine foot pounds. But yeah, always torque your rod boats uh, to the spec. This one was a nine foot pounds and I didn't have a torque wrench small enough to fit in there. So I thought I would get it close enough. I get it nice and tight and well, it went nice and tight. Not only that, but I didn't lock tight these bolts, which I should have. And I probably should have got new bolts in general because rod bolts stretch. So yeah, that's it for this video and this motor as of now. But yeah, let me know if y'all like this video. Let me know what I should do. Should I rebuild, do this motor, redo that motor? Try to just get a new one. I think I'm a split from the Predator route. I think I'm gonna go with the Wildcat 223, just cause I don't know it's different. A couple more CC, all that good stuff. And uh, if you read up on them, they're pretty cool. So yeah, that's it for this video. Let me know if y'all enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, always torque down your rod bolts.